Having completed the, the test, it's important to take a look at the material afterwards. And as you can appreciate here, well, we're going to take a water content in here, but even I won't bother with that because you can see that the moisture is not representative. Wherever I took it from, it's quite different here than it is there. So this is a test that is evidencing that we didn't spend enough time mixing the material properly and the results are So evident. when we're delivering the energy to our uh, test meter in here, the idea is to impart the energy coming from this hammer, which is a standard hammer. In the case of the standard proctor, this is five and a half. It's going to go up, and then it's going to drop. And we're going to have 25 times of this. Now something I'm doing wrong here is quite evident by the noise that you hear. First of all, the material, the test equipment hasn't been tied properly, and that hasn't been done, which means the color is loose. If you notice, I'm also compacting, not using a very stiff subgrade. This, in spite of being metal, um, it's not as sturdy as if we were doing the compaction process on a stiff concrete surface. And you're going to appreciate that with the difference in sound. hear that thuck type of sound means a no vibration means that all the energy coming from the hammer is going into the soil and is staying in the soil and it's not it's not being passed through or bypassed the test material uh, as we finish our test we we have to make sure that all the material is properly disposed of and also that the equipment is left in the same condition that you found it when, when we started doing the test. Uh, that includes the mold, um, the base, the color. Uh, granular material is very easy to, to work with. In general, you find out that just simply uh, brushing it in order to remove all the solid material. The hammer, the compaction hammer is typically, you're going to find that some of the material gets stuck, not only to the bottom here, but also on the sides. And that could lead into errors. If you have sand acting as a friction area on the side, the energy is not going to be the same as if you had a clean hammer. So very important to inspect uh, the test equipment when you receive it and to leave it in the same condition that you found it, or better, uh, when you're done.